recording all right guys once again here with another uh cyberpunk and friends here we have after dan i am the friend yes so today we're going to be talking about really um heavy topics one of you know you already know about this topic and one is going to be uh, kind of like surprising for some, but uh, we just leave it to the end. So let's just start with the controversial that is started from last year because this, this is not non-stop microtransaction from my favorite fighting game, Dead or Alive 6. Now, this is getting out of control. Now they're charging you for hair colors. Oh my god. No. No, no. No. <sighs> so anyways. Um, I'm here with this article. Um, so yes. Uh, let me read a little bit here. Koei Tecmo is charging Dead or Alive 6 players real world money to change a character's hair color. This market transaction bizarrely is exclusive to the PlayStation 4 version of the game and is oh. done via its existing premium ticket system. The tickets work out at $1 each and it costs one ticket to charge a character's hair. <sighs> and you can't flip back and forth. That only works once. Once, exactly. Oh, God. Continue reading. In one of the most... How do you pronounce that word? Egregious, I think. I don't use that word too often, yeah, but egregious. Michael transactions we've ever seen. There are Live 6 charges players to change a ca uh, character's hair color from 16 colors, but that doesn't unlock the color for unlimited use uh, there thereafter. Rather you're just paying to change the color the premium ticket is consumed every time you change a character's hair color this means if you revert the hair color back to the original color which cost <sighs> in game currency of course you have yeah. to spend another premium ticket aka real world money to change it to the color you first changed the hair to. Now you said you love Dead or Alive. Uh, yes, yes. Do I they do. how how in your face in game do they press these microtransactions on you? Obviously, you the, I mean or? the costumes <laughs> were. I mean, like. I lasted like a whole year, like trying to like be impressed of the costumes for me to buy a costume. That's one of the things because if the costume sucks, I'm not gonna buy it. And like mm -hmm. there were like two or th two or three costumes there that were like, okay, I'm going to like be a sucker and let's buy this shit. Mm -hmm. But for real, man, I need to stop. <laughs> like are, are I need, these... I, <laughs> go ahead you know i know i like the dead or alive a lot i like the costumes i like these characters but gosh dang it dude i've been seeing on twitter people fighting the developers on twitter i'm like watching them argue and then they just ignore every single fan they just like why don't you just give this character for free when it was free the previous game just like um, Rachel, uh, Momiji, they were actually in the game, in the, in the previous game, and they're charging you mm -hmm. again. They're charging you for a character that was free on the previous game, and they're charging <laughs> This has been out of hand ever since this game came out, man. I am so ticked off. I have not bought a single new character. At least in that part, I, I'm faithful. I'm not going to buy a character that was in previous game. Uh -huh. it's, it's just not... It, I just don't see that the logic in this thing, man. 
and for the freaking hair color and then you just cannot turn it back because you just change it and like what when other games like Soul Calibur I have bought every DLC from Soul Calibur but that is why they have more content I I, I buy DLC from um, uh, Smash Brothers because they have more content Unlike this shit that charges one freaking dollar for a freaking hair color, that has to be like an unlockable thing. Yeah. Man, I just, I do, I just don't understand. But of course, if people keep on buying these kinds of microtransactions like me, like a sucker like I am, they're just going to keep on doing it. But. There's also those fans who actually are more reasonable that at least buy some things here and there and it's just like, okay, this is stupid, I'm not going to buy this and I'm not going to support this. Although, on Twitter, we keep on fighting with these freaking people. Like, give these characters for free. Why won't you guys uh, give us free, uh, let's see, costumes? The previous costume from, from the previous games. Why won't you just do that? Oh my gosh, dude. It, it is a constant on Twitter. It's just the beyond of backlashing on Twitter. You could see, like, the. <laughs> go to Dero Alive on Twitter and you just see, like, angry fans in the comments. That's all you see. And the developers are just, like, ignoring the fact that they're doing things wrong. I mean, not the developers, just the, you know, the people who are in charge of promoting and all that shit and all like, oh man, it's, it's a freaking drag. I don't know how, what you think about this. I mean, um, go ahead. I just, really yeah, stop. well, I'm in the camp where if cosmetics mm -hmm. are there and it's not giving you any kind of advantage with that, mm -hmm. then if that's your side thing that you want to do to, you know, to somehow get more money, I guess I don't mind as terribly. I think lots of people got used to that. They were kind of mad about horse armor and oblivion like a long time ago mm -hmm. for cosmetic right. that did nothing. <laughs> right. It's so <laughs> it's so permeant in the gaming ecosystem now that I think a lot more people are okay with it. Hair like this on a one time basis is really it's really stupid. It's really stupid to just only have one shot at that. You're already paying real world world money. At right. least let the players flip it back and forth however they want. It's not real world hair, okay? Exactly. I know that's how real world hair works. This is a game. We should be able to flip it however we want. With these other costumes that you expect players to grind for and also probably buy, you know, to have things set up the way that they want. Exactly. Um, it's... Uh. It's dumb. I'm trying to think if it was PUBG that also did this. This uh, They were... Um, I can't remember if it's them or not, to be honest. But I thought there was like some some shooter out there like that, that. I just keep thinking of PUBG for some reason. Where some of the outfits actually just were straight up camouflage. That just straight up made you harder to see. And so people were paying real world money for that. That was an instance where cosmetics were giving those players an advantage. I think and Ghost Recon is a... doing the same thing, though. Mm, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> but I remember, I remember um, whatever fan base that was raising like a stink and like a crap over that. You know, that you know, pay to win, even when it's just cosmetic. It was happening there and. Again, I can't remember if it was PUBG or not, but they flipped, and they made it so those could be earned like in game, exactly. Whatever, and people weren't paying real money. Yeah, I mean, when when you see your competition, which is basically Smash and other, uh, let's see, uh, Mortal Kombat, and uh, a direct um, uh, rival, which is Soul Calibur, in which I have all the DLCs. And that's because they bring more content and they also bring in-game unlockable stuff. And of course, there's a creative character there. There's a creation 
mode in that game. Unlike freaking Dead or Alive, which you have mm-hmm. to have uh, bought the costume to change a color or something, or whatever, in which still you still need to buy another costume color because I've, I've seen that in another, in another characters too. There's the same costume, different color, they charge you for both. And it's insanely stupid. And I'm like, come on, guys. I mean, when your competition has this much content, like Soul Calibur, like Soul Calibur has uh, only released like five DLCs, maybe. Two, three, or guest characters, maybe. I do not remember. I think the only guest character was uh, 2B and Geralt from The Witcher. And the others were like uh, characters from old previous game from Soul Calibur. And they've done a pretty good job with those characters. And of course, they have unlockable stuff coming from that DLC. Now, when you. I, when you buy freaking characters on Dead or Alive, I'm not saying that I bought them. I just didn't. Just to make that clear. I have not bought a single character in Dead or Alive because they just only bring just the character. That is it. A character that was in previous game. Something that I like. Switch to the previous game and play that character. That simple. Is um, that what I mean? I'm- Yes, it's... I'm seeing one stat here. Uh, they claim this is on Steam, but that to get every single skin in the game for Dead or Alive 6, if you wanted it all, somebody's, in a, as like a comment here, is saying it cost $451.91. Yeah. If you wanted like every single costume. Yeah. <laughs> now for everything, I think it's like at least $2,000. Uh, <laughs> We're talking about Dead or Alive 6 right now, guys. This is how expensive this... I, I, I don't know, man. I, I'm, like, seeing right now how is Evo and all these tournament, uh, you know, competitions will actually have all this. Because at the end of the day, they're actually supporting this kind of practice. If they want to have everything in the game. You, you got what I mean? It's not mm-hmm. their fault. It's just they have to have these all of these content. For people who actually go there. And uh, go fight against another player. They have to have all the content. on. You know. <laughs> like I'm not going to a Smash uh, type of Evo type of competition. And they don't have Joker. You got what I mean? So they need to yes. have all this content in the game, regardless how expensive it is and how outrageous and stupid and <laughs> whatever you want to call it, it is. You need to have all those content in in the game for those kinds of competitions. Am I right? Yeah. It, it makes nobody, sense. Yeah, I mean, yeah, nobody wants to come close to Nintendo's model for any mm-hmm. of their DLC, I feel like. Right. I'd like to see other examples outside of Nintendo. Like, I really would. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I mean, it's... You, you're you right. I think I think the, the best example right here is... I think it's Nintendo's DLC Smash. And, of course, uh, other other fighting games. But other fighting games is just more of promoting. I mean, Street Fighter V is even worse. Uh, that's... <laughs> because you could... <laughs> You could, you know, get this kind of typical microtransaction stuff, and you can have netcode that's unplayable. Yeah. Yeah, dude. It, I have I have that game, and I only have bought, like, two DLCs, maybe a costume, yeah. two or three. That's it. It's just way too expensive. And even if they're on sale, I'm, I'm, I always look at them like, nah, I'm not going to buy this. Not even if they're on sale. So, you know, man, this this needs to stop and we need to speak with our wallets, especially me. So I'm going to start doing that, even though there's some cool costumes over there. But uh, these people need to freaking stop. I mean, they're totally abusing our freaking wallets. And of course, we're us, like me, being a sucker. (laughs) 
<laughs> to buy these things <laughs> and support these kind of practices because I do admit that I do buy costumes for Dead or Alive and I also, you know, like buying DLCs because I, I, I like costumes and, you know, you know that, you know me, you, you know why I like the costumes, right? <laughs> yeah, I do. You know, but yeah. Um, <laughs> So yeah, this that this is my thoughts, and uh, cause I know it's stupid, but this needs to stop. Like this year, like th- they're going down the lane. Like this game was super cool, this franchise was really cool, but then they just dropped the ball on this one. <sighs> I so. wish, like, I'm just a proponent of like people getting to create whatever they want in uh, games. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I bet you, like, a, a chunk of why, you know, there has to be some kind of percentage in the world of Soul Calibur mm-hmm. that they see the hilarious videos of people making whoever they want. I mean, we have this in, like, the wrestling games, you know, like oh, the yeah. WWE yeah. 2K. Yeah, the 2K. The fact, the fact that there's, like, this database of people uploading, you know, Saiyan's Undertale, like... They see that in, like, YouTube videos and Twitch streams that they can have these dream matches of, like... <laughs> Literally, You know, yeah. like... Like, Billy Mays from OxyClean versus... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> the, green even... the Green Giant? The Green Giant? Yeah, the Jolly Green <laughs> Giant. <laughs> People, that's, like, such a big selling point. So I'm yes. just a point... I'm just at a point where, like, everything should just, uh, you know, let let the players be able to to make some stuff that's a huge chunk of what mario maker is i'm not mm-hmm. biased there right. at all yeah and now that's that's doing fantastic there's lots of people looking after that indeed, indeed. anyhow yeah it's more games more games need to have that agency yes. in the players most hands. definitely most definitely but we need to speak from our wallets uh we did it with uh with the new Star Wars. The new Star Wars has been very successful. And we shut EA's mouth. They are not dead yet. Freaking Star Wars uh, Jedi Fallen Order is freaking good. And uh, yeah. Yeah it is. So that's that's a, that's a good sign. So. Um, Dan you sent me a really cool bed. So can you tell us a little bit about. Let's talk about this bed. Yeah let's um, talk about Because they're really anxious to talk about this. He can throw, he can throw up pictures of this. Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> this bed. Um, I, I can't pronounce the company's name. But you'll have um, ba- 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 he- ba- ba- the <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay where where do i start i mean <laughs> this uh this bed dude there's there's gamer branded everything now you know like somebody i should come up with my you know have my facts laid out but i promise you i've seen this somewhere there's somebody out there selling gamer gamer branded socks for people to wear. Like <laughs> that's a real thing somewhere. And they're <laughs> stupid expensive too. So there's gonna be gamer branded everything. I'm admittedly a sucker for some of that stuff. <laughs> um I've been wearing gunner glasses for forever. They're like legit nice. And like every other kind of accessory. So yeah, you hear me you hear me say, you know, gamer branded socks. That's that's dumb and absurd. Well here's the gaming bed. <laughs> This is somewhere yes. in Japan uh, that's manufacturing this this monstrosity with <laughs> built-in dual monitor mounts. Um, yeah. I'm trying to. I guess it comes with this arm for like your for your iPad. This hospital bed like table <laughs> that yeah. you're able to probably wheel by you for your mouse and keyboard holsters for your controllers, cup holders, baskets for. Uh, you know, the the best gamer snacks, you know, your flaming hot Cheetos, right? Cup of noodles and stuff like that. You're able to wheel like some of these bits around and over you. It comes <laughs> in, like this really impressive looking memory foam pillow. Or yes. I assume that's what I assume that comes with it. Yeah. 
there's this you know one thing that's weird me out is um uh in one of these pictures he has an alarm clock dude you're a gamer. You're sleeping in till like one or two in the morning because yeah, you're exactly. gaming, <laughs> gaming all night. I can see you. Bet you're only passing out. Like, what do you need an alarm clock for? <laughs> you're, not, <laughs> you're not waking up. You're you're not even getting up when you wake up because you're staying in your gamer bed. Getting oh, if, if getting you see, done what needs if you done. See closely, his drinks. It's just soda and Monster. <laughs> yeah, Coke and Monster, how can you even like. sleep? Like you don't even need yeah, you're it. Staying awake. <laughs> yeah, well, you need it all. He's like taking his, you know, gamer training, and all the energy is just going into his hands. <laughs> you know, for the for the awesome elite micromanagement for your competitive StarCraft two and. So yeah, do, do they and actually... of course it's two monitors, dude. Yeah, because one's monitors. gotta be for your game, and the other is for Discord. Because the second monitor is for just for Discord, I guess. Yes, yes. <laughs> so basically, where do you put your PC or your console here? Well, I think you could take the basket out that has the the chips. Oh, There's right. like a yeah in one of these pictures. There's like this box. I bet you your tower, a tower, could fit in there. I mean, in this picture, you don't really see consoles. You just no. kind of see the accessories and the monitors. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So there's probably, maybe there's even built-in cable management. Could be, yeah. For some of the stuff. I'm looking for the price here. I don't know if there's a price. <laughs> yeah, I don't see that anywhere. If they did, it'd be in yen. Yeah, I wouldn't know how to look for right it. Here, man. Like, you don't even need it's to set up a freaking TV or you just have all your both monitors there. I mean, you, you got everything here, man. Like, even a cell phone mount would do. Like, <laughs> this is for the laziest most <laughs> you need to be uh free the whole day for the thing. Like... the same company also sells oh my word i'm sending you this picture oh, the same God. company also sells a gamer tent what you could just do you know you can hot box yourself <laughs> <laughs> with this with this big felt cube just around your desk if you wanted to because we all know sunlight is painful <laughs> right right <laughs> and staying up all night isn't long enough you need to extend into the morning hours your monster's still working anyway <laughs> Lift yourself up with this gamer tent this in is addition. like a no sleep i mean like it's I mean, the bed is there for something, but, uh, I mean, it's like, it's... dude, a freaking tent. It's locked in. <laughs> That's awesome. But, yeah, uh, so I'll be importing both of these. <laughs> hey, uh, Dan, I, I think he, if you see, like, uh, go to the, the main website from Kotaku, if you see the one, two, the third picture... Uh, One, he's looking two. at his cell phone, right? Yeah, his phone. And, That's where I saw the and, alarm clock and like the yeah, tube. Of stuff. Yeah. What, what is that cream for? You know. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, I wasn't gonna say anything because I had no clue. <laughs> Let's just say it's preparation H. Right. Because right. <laughs> th this poor gamer was in his gaming chair for like ten hours, ten hours a day. Right, right. You know, yeah. ranking up in league and everything, that the poor guy got hemorrhoids, which is why he had to take out a loan <laughs> to get his gamer bed so he can ease, ease the pressure on his buttocks. <laughs> but so to completely heal up after that, he has to apply this cream yes. regularly. Yes. To, to be in comfort because he's just in so much pain, but he has to game. Yes, yes. <laughs> so his medication is also in that basket with all these chips. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now, 
They, all he has here is junk food, man. Like, and the drinks yeah. are not even healthy. So, <laughs> I, I don't know how this guy's still skinny. <laughs> it, can't, it can't be gamer and healthy. <laughs> well, of course. But I, I mean, I, I broke those barriers a long time ago. But uh, <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah, you're a rare breed. You're special. <laughs> so I need to. So yeah, there's actually. I can see here two monitors, uh, speakers, uh, controller hanger, and uh, also a headset hanger. If you can call it like that, the keyboard is on your side. Um, it's a weird sad keyboard. I mean, how can you actually see sideways and or just put your your keyboard on your lap or something? There was like one picture of him setting up that I saw, like somewhere else. This this can't be good for your back. Here I found I found it. Let's oh, see. did I just send you the exact same yeah. picture? I think I just sent you the exact same picture. Oh, it's not copying that link. Come on. Copy image. Yeah, there we go. I sent you that. So yeah, there's there one go. of him just sitting up, you know, very intently looking at his dynamic yes. uh, desktop wallpaper. <laughs> and gaming. And a desktop wallpaper. There's, there's no <laughs> back support on that. You, oh, yes. You, couldn't, you can't keep that up. That can't be that good. No. You know, unless he's eating his noodles. Or right. he's about to. He's waiting the three minutes. That, I see yeah. the noodles are, like, sitting next to him there. But he's got a controller in his hand. Yeah, this is pretty legit, man. Like, I'm... Pretty legit. If I have another room for this kind of bed... I'll definitely buy this set. Um, no doubt about it. If it if it actually comes to Puerto Rico, because that's a that's another thing. Or unless people will like try to like make imitations of it, which I don't think it's gonna be like legitimately like this one. But uh, I mean, I can see that people will try to imitate it. <laughs> <laughs> This article claims to say that somewhere on the site where it sells this, it says, I wake up and move from my bed to my desk. Why is that so complicated? Gaming (laughs) beds solve this problem. (laughs) (laughs) I think that's Google translated from the site. But that's pretty good. Yes. It's so complicated. Getting up. Man, I, I need to be very lazy that day to not freaking get up and game, because... <laughs> Man, if it brings, like, everything here, like the keyboard, the set, uh... I think the keyboard is too much, but I think the the desk from the keyboard, uh, the, the mounts and the uh, monitors in it, I think I can put this as at least... Six hundred dollars, dude. Yeah, I don't know. How much would you put on I, this? Well, I've been, I'm kind of been looking as we've been talking, so I'm sorry I haven't been the best conversationalist because I, I have been seeing if that is somewhere. Translate from Japanese. Okay, one thing... Well, that's a desk for 100,000 yen. Gaming furniture... This is their website. I see here. I can't navigate it, though. It's like when Google Translate's kind of taking it over. No. There's There could be a price in there somewhere. Matt with desk. Yeah, it's somewhere. Uh, yeah, I'll agree with you for $600. Nice desks are usually three or four hundred. Yeah. This has the bed is like at least one hundred and something. Uh, save some money by putting your own twin mattress on it. Correct. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, most approximately six hundred. Six hundred. Oh, the monitors will mm-hmm. make it a little bit more expensive. So. Well, yeah, yeah. It depends on how many accessories you put on. Yeah. 
So yeah, guys, I think we fulfilled the half hour. So yeah, let me let us know what you think about this bed. Um, I I think this is legit. I think I'll uh, I'll dig into this. Um, if this actually was actually accessible here in Puerto Rico, I'll definitely put my money into it. Really, it's it's funny and it's it looks comfortable too. So, I think those are my thoughts on this bed. <laughs> <laughs> gaming bed. Yeah. Yeah, gaming bed. So, yeah, guys, please don't forget to favorite, comment, and subscribe. This has been Zara Punky. This has been Officer Dan. Thanks for hanging out. We'll see you guys later.